but yeah, this game looks amazing, feels amazing. I'm trying to get my head around all the controls, which I am not good with. I'm playing it on PC. I'm not sure if it's on consoles or anything, but I'm playing it on PC with a Xbox One controller. So. There's nothing quite like a fight at the Empire Fight Camp. I'm Todd Grisham. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Joe Calzaghi, six foot even with a weight. It's a shame that, like, um, even though in, like, this quick fights, you can't give, like, well, I hope players a belt or anything. And there's the I'd like to see my one. character come out with, like, the WCFB. We wanted action, and they are delivering. Joe the Southpaw. Frotch Orthodox. Oof. Good one. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but don't expect these fans to be sitting down. We expect Oof, a standing ovation when these two are done. God, I've got to give it to the promoter. I don't go to, I don't go to the place. body enough. That's the only problem. I really should start. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you and when I do go to the body, I'm like too far away. We're lucky to be sat here. Catch and shoot. Oof, To back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. See, like, one of the biggest mistakes I usually do Halfway through the round and there's is I like, punch too much in the first couple two. of rounds and then I end up just losing. He's like stamina. So... Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. There we go to the body. I'm gonna jab, jab body. Knockout. That was a straight, never mind. Still trying to get my head around the controls too. Ooh. The courage. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That was a great first what round. We saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on the fight. And here's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Tactics out of the window. These oh, guys just want to As soon as they get better, I'll take this off intermediate and I'll go Ronda into the Rousey pros. once told me when she gets into a fight, her mentality was minimum effort, maximum efficiency. I need to start throwing some power shots. I haven't even thrown one. But I've been getting charts action great landing. from both of these fighters. Ooh, there we go. So much for boxing. Sticking it and this moving is it. a fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? Ooh. It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Body, body, and a hook. The spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. A win is not He's just a win man. for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. Spider told us yesterday, I don't get paid by the minute. I'm going to go in there and try and knock my opponent out as soon as possible. That punch landed. Ooh. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Ooh. 
definitely used too much stamina right there, but that's a good round. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what. <coughs> there's the bell for round three. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. I'm not going to the body enough. I need to start doing that with the jabs, like using the jabs to get in there. There we go. There's a right hand. You've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class. It sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Where do those jabs go to? Come on. Take the jab. Oh. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Oh! Beautiful straight down the pipe. Jab, jab, straight. Lands with the right counter. And he misses with the left uppercut. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I think I took this one. Oh. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that. just too much of my stamina. Here we go to the fourth yeah. round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that I wanna, last I want to slow it down now. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Let's use my jab and break out of it. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Joe Kawasaki just was known for just punching and punching and punching. It never Fantastic stopped. Fantastic punch. And he has incredible stamina. I love this fight against Roy Jones. I'll never let a white boy beat me. I forgot his name right now, but I can remember what he said. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know Still trying to remember what his name was. that can strike at any moment. Sometimes yeah, when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, amazing. you've got to outthink him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fake and pickpocket him. Fight, fight his name. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Some nice exchanges from both men Ooh. in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. Another scoring shot there. What a punch. Good counter punching for both these athletes. away this is some of the best action I've seen you know just, I just keep cards are gonna like be all over the place in this one I think I took it I had a dominant jab I think so that was a good one as bad as boxing yeah once again look at my stamina 76 percent no compared to Carl Frost was 84. as long as they don't get complacent you think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of pace up they've got this fight on to the fifth we go well, I have no, no idea how to like touch gloves by the way at the start of the round see what he has for us here in the next one I'll be honest with you guys I skipped the tutorial so I have no idea I did like, I went, I think I like did 20% of this it. This fighter has tested bothered. their opponent's power and apparently isn't Ooh, impressed as they continue shot. to walk Jab, through all these body. power oh, shots. To the body. 
Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done it, I'm going to jump to the body. Like that, That's it. You punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you're <coughs> what? I'm going to do a double jump to the body and then straight and see if these combinations work. Right punch. That wasn't a straight, that was a hook. Rewind. Trying to get enough hook it in. Left punch. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, oh. the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. I'm going to... I need to start learning some more combinations, you know. Beautiful counter punch. Good punch. Solid punch. Perfect counter shot. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance without a doubt. See how, like, so, so Carl Crotch has got 81% still, and I've got 69%. I just used too much on the stamina. That's a massive, massive problem. There's the bell for round six. Coming up <coughs> that fantastic yeah. last round. Let's, Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. So I just changed his stance to more loose. As you can see, he's uh, dancing around. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this. I'm trying to stay on my feet. They are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not oh, fit, that is that the beautiful. worst place to be. Having second thoughts in the ring. He blocks the jab. Oh, I'm going to stop dancing. It's not working out. Oh, oh my lands. god. He's definitely got this round in the bag. Oh, that punch. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Why is my, my left hook is so slow? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a the fight. They've got to relax. Now this is about desire. This is about Really talent. trying to get better at this fighting inside the pocket. Want. Not great at it, though. He fails to score with that left hook. Very close round oh. with 10 seconds to go. I think Frotch took this one. 100% took this one. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far. Yeah, my stamina is just getting worse and worse. Here we go, it's round seven. Oh, I took it. Apparently, very so these are predictor scores. What are we gonna have in this round? Todd, my I guess I got the dominant jab. Not broken. Why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just okay. been doing because you've won that hands down. On the right. Some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. There you go. Oh, no, oh, Carl Frotch got caught. Oh. I can't finish it. His guard was too good. Right His guard was just too, too, too good. Still My God. I couldn't get past that guard, guys. 
both want the knockout. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and I'm everything. I'm feeling much, much more confident right now. Go, and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? <clears throat> I have no idea how to dodge shot that will face the Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here. Like that, you see? How lucky like just turns it over. Seconds to go. Up we go. Oh. That was still a great round. Not stamina wise though. 55% stamina. Terrible stamina. I want, I want to just dance again. around right now. Just, get, just win this round off the jab. Round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There we go, see? In and out, in and out. Oh, oh my God. Fighters. Not a lot of defense here at all. Good counter punch. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. He just misses with that big right hand. Missed him with that uppercut. I did say I want to just dance around him with a jab, but now I'm trying to fight inside. Stupid. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. But he is winning, is winning, winning the exchange. I want one that one there. The they throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they run out of steam. I'm going to go loose now. Look at this. Ooh, I love I love this movement. I think it's safe to say Game one booed. of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Oh. Despite what the See, look at that. How beautiful that is. Like, how he's doing no that. In this one. I, need, I need to get used to doing that. Inside the pocket. I think that would really help me. Especially in the career mode. I can see me losing that round. Point, I didn't do much. He can't and I lost quite fight. a lot of the exchanges. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Safe Ooh, to say that last round fight. was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, I think I've heard Johnny Nelson say that 50,000 times now. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. No rest for the weary. Hey, those punches add up. Oh. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Nice exchanges. I'm really concentrated right now. Try not to talk. I love those short, like, straight. Doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. I don't think I'm going to get the knockout, but... I don't, I've definitely got this in the bag. He just misses with that jab. Put in the comments what do you guys think of Paul Frotch and 
Joe calls the referee. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Me personally, I think Joe would just absolutely smash it. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, I think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. There's the bell to start round 10. Well done. Right. Predicts this award cards apparently round. have won every Let's single round. Let's see if he can round. keep his momentum going. I want to try this movement. Let's see if I can... You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Ooh, Do they have the a body. glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, Ooh. take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body. Use you see that beautiful, like, I love those straights. Boxer fight and beat them on points. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Ooh. He's definitely got the stamina on me and I can't really throw any combinations. Do you believe what we are seeing? I can't believe it, mate. I'm just that goddamn good. Some nice exchanges from both Poor men Jarrett. in this round. He missed with that jab. Carl Frotch had a great, a weird fighting style. Like right now, he's got his guard up right now. But usually the way Carl Frotch fights is like his hands movies, are always down and stuff. Scenes, the gym work, that's what it all boils down to. Especially his fight with like more endurance. George Groves. 8,000 at Wembley. Absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower? Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Great counter right hand there. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. A pretty lopsided decision. There, a <laughs> hey, one. let's this go. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This is I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. Light work this is Joe. nowhere near tight. Light, light work. Incredible game. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, let's see the scorecards. Okay, Owen Scott, 98 92, Kalzaki. Matthew King, 98 92. And then Joshua Fidowich, 190. Wow. Well, I dominated. So the rounds that they thought I lost was 8 and 10, which, okay, I definitely agree with. So, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see how like the, the CPU threw so many more body shots, 178 landing with 91. Unlike me, and I only sh only threw like 44. But the headshots were there, 687. <laughs> the jab was just crazy, 355 jabs. But Joe Kawasaki, that's all he does. He just keeps throwing. It's incredible. But yeah, before and. But yeah, jo Joe's, uh, Joe's uh, I can't even say his name. Joe's had an incredible career, as, as well as Froch, but Joe is 10 times more better, in my opinion. But we'll never know because they never fought. Alright, then, boys, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.